We go back into Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21. Uh, I think I'll stop it in verse 11, but I'm going to go back into verse 9. It says, But when ye shall hear of wars, see, that's what we hear now, of wars and commotion, you know, commotion is like a uh, civil un unrest in the country. It would be like civil unrest like we had in the United States, you know, about the election. That's what we're going to see around the world, mostly it's around the world, especially when you have it by the election and stuff like that. They start having civil unrest in the country. Commotion. You be hearing of wars, you know. Nation rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, like same group of people in the same country that try to get their own little group and stuff like that. They rise up against each other. That's what we're gonna be seeing now. Like in verse 9, it says, I mean, verse 10. But the Lord said, but the end is not yet in verse 9. He said, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. So the end is not yet. Verse 10 said, then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. See, kingdom will be against kingdom. You know, nation will rise against nation is what we're seeing now, hearing about now. But all that's going to get worse as time goes on. It's going to be war, you know, because we fell into sin. That's God's doing. God allowed these people to do that, like put diseases on you and stuff like that, but all that is his doing. You know, just like when Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar thought it was his doing, getting control over all the nations, but it was God's doing. God gave him that authority to do that because of the people's sin. It's like it is now. You know, God allowed his men to put the diseases upon you. You know, by all that he's doing because you don't want to obey him. You, know, you worship false God. You turn away from him. So he's punishing you. You know, a lot of men are punishing you. But all that is he's doing, you have to understand how God do things. If you read the Old Testament, you know, God sent the other nation after you. You know, make the other king strong and, and beat you up and kill a lot of you destroy you with famine, pestilence, with war, sword, you know, different thing. You have to understand that. All right, verse 10 said, and said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And verse 11 saying, great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famine See, it'll be great earthquake. It's like we had an earthquake this week, I think, in California. Uh, 6.2 or something. See? And it'll be stronger than that. You know, it can get stronger and stronger as time goes on and get closer for the Lord to come back. It happen in different places around the world. I'm looking for, like I said, I told people that before, but I was looking for a great earthquake in America. You know, it could happen in different, all different parts of the world, different nations. People could be surprised, but a lot of people could be killed. You know, it bring, it's bring famine too. You know, people lose everything, all the stuff in their house, a lot of things get broken up, you know, and stuff like that. And then they got to rebuild stuff, you know. They lose all their food, all that, a lot of time. Buildings fall down, you know, houses. All right, verse 11, it's saying, Great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famine. See, it's caused famine. 
People lose a lot of cities being knocked down, a lot of bridges, everything. Truck can't travel, no water, all that stuff too, because everything system, everything be broken. You know, earthquake done towed it up. You know, just like when they have a hurricane, it taps everything. All the system, everything goes down. You know, same thing with a big earthquake. See, food shortage, all that. They just, we're having food shortage now. There's famine, you know, just like in Afghanistan, Africa, and different places. Over here, too, the food get high. Okay? All shortage, you know. That's why everybody wants to come to America. You know, and like the uh, Britain and Canada and all that stuff. And like from Jacob C. You know, God had blessed them, but they fell away from God. Now they start having trouble. You know, that's around the world. Because all, all the nation that fell away from God. They're not obeying Him no more. People is not obeying God. They left His commandments. They promote all type of evil. Invented evil thing. They for adultery, fornication, homosexuality, transgender, all of that. And God don't want you to do that. And they for it. They be against God. So God is punishing. God wants you to repent and giving you a chance. He's destroying people now. You have to understand that. You know, just like he did with Pharaoh. Start, start destroying it, you know. Then they still didn't want to put frog, flies, pestilence, all different things in there. And then this, the fellow still didn't want to repent. So he finally destroyed, destroyed them all, you know. Drowned them into the Red Sea. See? It's like we had that day of the Battle of Armageddon, you know. It get worse and worse till God put the final battle upon you and destroy you. You know, you destroy a lot of people. You're going to leave a remnant, but a lot of people going to get destroyed. That's what a lot of people don't see. They think they can just keep on doing what they're doing. You know, like God ain't going to do nothing. But God punish for that. See, even a lot of time. He's doing something now, but they can't see it. You know, it's like the tornado we had, you know, in Kentucky. All that's God's doing. You know. People can say what they want, but God have a talk. He control everything. All right, you can say. Famine, pestilence, you know, that's why we're having a coronavirus. Why I was telling people it's not going away because people don't want to repent, you know. Find a cure for it and another one will come out, you know. And they don't understand that, you know, because they want to go back and do the same thing before, what they was doing before, you know, going to the ball game, hollering and hooping and all that stuff. And like I said, a coronavirus not going nowhere. It'll be a new strain, a new type. Maybe something else laid on, you know. It'll be a chemical weapon, you know. Gotta have a mask. You know, a shown up mask, like a gas mask. Never know what's gonna happen. You know, but like I said, God is punishing the people. We have sin against God. People don't want to repent. Oh, it's me. It goes for all of us. Everybody has to repent, you know, for their sin. But the Bible said they won't repent, and I guess only a few will repent, you know, that want to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible said they won't repent. You know, most of the people won't repent, you know. They don't got so used to doing what they're doing. And they think it's right, and they try to justify it. Yeah, so that's why we're having a pestilence. That's why I got a S in the word famine, and a S in the word pestilence. Be different diseases, you know. A lot of diseases coming up, pestilence. And, and they say, and fearful sights, 
and great signs shall there be from heaven. So you can be fearful sight for me. Man is afraid now, just like now when you have a hurricane coming, they get all afraid, they all leave. You know, they see the highway be full with calls, packed, can't hardly move. See, they're fearful. See, the people a long time ago, they didn't be that fearful because they used to be closer to God, they used to serve God, most of the people. We're getting further and further away from God. So they're getting more and more fearful. They're like about the disease, coronavirus, they're fearful, they put fear in you. See? And verse uh, 12, it says, But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, deliver you up to the synagogues and into prison being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. See, that's what Jesus Christ said. He said, I'll deliver you up and persecute you. And that's what they're doing now to the Christian people, the saints, starting now. See, because you know the truth. See, they don't want to, the devil don't want to hear the truth. I want you to put out the truth. See, if you put out lies, it's okay. It's just how it is now. But they don't fell away from God. They don't want you to hear to say that abortion is wrong, homosexual is wrong. They don't want to hear that. See? They persecute you. Start throwing you in jail. You know, killing you for that, just for saying that. Saying that it's wrong. You know? That's how it is. They don't want you to say nothing no more. Because we done left God. We done got wicked, the people. See? That's what I wanted to bring to y'all today, just to show you that where we are now in Bible prophecy. It's going to get worse, you know. And everybody going to be fearful. But thank y'all and read God's word, you know. May God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of his word. But read God's word. Get our understanding. Save yourself. You know. But, you know, a lot of people they don't want to hear that. They don't want to listen. They don't want to repent. So we don't want them getting destroyed. You know. They may be laughing at the people that are being persecuted now. You know, think that they ain't going to get that punishment, but the punishment God is going to punish the world for their sin. God said in his word to punish the world for their sin. You know. But to heed, let no man deceive you. You know, and save yourself. Seek God's word. You know, get our understanding. But thank y'all and may God bless y'all. Give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of his word.